Harper Lee, the iconic author whose novel To Kill a Mockingbird earned her a Pulitzer Prize in 1961, has died at age 89 in her hometown of Monroeville, Alabama. According to a statement issued by her lawyer, Lee's death was unexpected, saying, quote, she remained in good basic health until her passing. The family is in mourning and there will be a private funeral service in the upcoming days as she had requested, end quote. To Kill a Mockingbird delves into themes of courage, social injustice, and the importance of family bonds through the fictional story of Atticus Finch, a resolute lawyer who defends a black man falsely accused of raping a white woman, set during the 1930s and told as seen through the eyes of his daughter, Scout. The novel has sold 40 million copies since its 1960 release. The movie version, released in 1962, earned Gregory Peck an Academy Award for his portrayal of Atticus Finch. In 2007, Lee was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George W. Bush. To Kill a Mockingbird cemented Harper Lee as one of the 20th century's finest writers, and many believed it would be her only publication. But she surprised the literary world last year with the publication of another novel, Go Set a Watchman. The manuscript for the new novel was actually the original work Lee submitted for publication in 1957, which resulted in the cult classic To Kill a Mockingbird, after a rewrite suggested by her editor. Lee's attorney rediscovered the old manuscript among Lee's archived materials. After questions were quelled about Lee's well-being and whether she truly wanted the book to be published, Go Set a Watchman went on sale in July 2015 and has sold 1.6 million print copies in the U.S. so far. In February 2016, Scott Rudin, one of New York's most prolific theater producers, announced the first Broadway production of To Kill a Mockingbird. The play being adapted by writer Andrew Sorkin is slated to debut in the 2017-18 season.